Welcome to the channel and labbing with T. Today's video, we're going over the LB cross three show two out of the nickel through three five odd. We do have Burke at the outside linebacker position or the defensive end is what the game recognizes it as. LB cross three show two out of nickel three three five odd New York Giants defensive playbook. Now with the blitz setup, it's really easy. All you're gonna do is spread all, which is RB up on the left stick and then you're gonna press the slot corner individually which by the way if you did not know makes it to where you can see all your quick adjustments in game but now you could actually see all your quick adjustments so the next part is crash your d-line inside now i individually press him because if they want to start rolling out to the right which a lot of players will if they have escape artist you can blitz him off the edge and the contain that he has is incredible now, to get this guy off the edge, Burkirvin, what you're going to do is you're going to use Brooks or a safety Darnold Savage if you're playing Mutt. And you're going to stand in front of the right guard and simply stand there and engage, disengage. And now, of course, they had the flats open, but we'll talk about the adjustment for that. But you get the guy Burkirvin coming in every single time. So spread all, crash inside take him put him into a curl flat and shade down that takes away that tub route simply stand here engage disengage and take away the spot and go or the stop and go route going across the middle field they block the running back you might think that pick it up right spread all crash inside let's go ahead and individually press just in case they decide they're going to go ahead and roll out every time we can take care of that and we're going to blitz our user standing right in front of the right guard. We're going to engage, disengage, and scream off the edge. Middle linebacker on the looping assignment forces the running back to go and pick him up. He has to pick him up because when the running back is blocked, again, no logic in this game. Now, if they go max protect or if they want to roll out to the right, which a lot of people are going to do, they're going to roll away from the pressure. You're gonna go ahead and individually press your slot corner, crash D-line inside, take him and blitz him off the edge as well. Now I'm gonna drop Adams into a curl flat and Stefan Diggs into an inside third. I wish I knew my quick adjustments, but in game it doesn't work too well unless you individually press somebody by the way. You're gonna go ahead and stand here, max pro, engage, disengage and scream. You saw right there, we got a crazy disengage animation off the right side. That freed up the one dude and it allowed Bobby Wagner and whoever Burkirvin is to come off the edge clean. They try and roll out. I don't know how on earth I'm going to show this. They'll set up a throw. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit. And if they block the corner somehow, he's still going to peel off the tight end and hawk down the QB. Now, lots of talk, but let's go ahead and show you guys some gameplay of exactly how this works. So in a five wide, you've got a lot of seams that you gotta worry about. You got one on the left, you got two on the right, really got three supers right, two left, and you really gotta worry about the seams. So if we take this safety on the left of screen safety, the free safety, we can take him because he's in a three wreck and man him up over to the slot on the left side, number six. You can take a man up that takes care of any seam streaks. On top of that, we got the tight end on the right side. You've got a couple different options right here. One, you can take this safety on the right side and man him up or leave him inside third. Or take this slot and man him up to that. But where the slot is aligned, there's another receiver there as well. And we can go ahead and take that man him up. And then since our users are already over the right guard, what we only have to worry about is really just the tight end. Other than that, just a simple shade up and play some defense. Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They trail a one score deficit 14 7 as they come up first and 10. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. But first down, Hurts. Going for it all. And this is intercepted, but. They'll set up a throw. Now, I believe this is bunch Y flex. It might be bunch open tight end. Either way, it's a different formation he's used. Now, in bunch, there's lots you have to worry about. You have to worry about verticals from both the tight end and, again, the slot, similar to 5 wide. 
uh, but the running back is a big threat as well into the flats. Now, it is third and 18, so I'm okay with giving up short stuff. This guy is constantly wanting to roll out away from the blitz, and that's what we want to do because the times he's ran this formation is always a crosser and a dig. I believe it's speed dig is what he's been running. So his routes are always going from right to left, and if he rolls out to the right... It's no big deal at all. He's going to have to throw a cross body and basically pray that he gets an accurate throw. Back to throw here. And that's incomplete. Out of punt on fourth down. Right here, same exact play as that speed dig play. And the way the outside thirds play, the guy on the left of screen number 29 that's almost about to come down and press. If there's no clear out route, they play crosser so much better this year. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three yard gain. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by DJ Reed. And they finally put it into this return. All right, new game mode. Slower plays for this team. This is Madden Ultimate Team. The blitz still works. I can't remember what kind of bunch this is called, but he has Derrick Henry and he has three stars on his O-line. Well, pretty much this guy has a god squad, all right? Compared to mine, much better than what mine is. But 3-3-5 odd. When I'm looking at a formation like this, I'm looking for the popular things. Crossers, potential streaks, and really just using what I need to know. I'm not running with zone drops right now. Again, this is kind of a rough outline of the defense, and we're going to work with it as zones get better, of course. But I'm looking for anything in the middle of the field because this is a very quick blitz. It's an easy blitz. The guys are slower. The reaction's not as good. You have to be on your toes. Now, you notice, talked about Darnell Savage at the beginning of the video. That is my user. He is like a 78 overall gold card with 86 speed. You want to know what a budget user is? Darnell Savage is a budget user. He gets the job done, and we do just that with our user. Guys, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. On second and 11 now, Fields. Oh, he tries to get it to Metcalf, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage, and he will take this one home. All right, if you haven't watched my previous video on Gun Bunch tight end, PA boot over, well, trust me, it's not dead. And this guy goes straight to Gun Bunch tight end. More than likely, it is going to be PA boot over. So right here, what I like to do against Gun Bunch tight end, what I like to do last year is blitz. I wanted to blitz because I want to keep him inside the pocket so I don't have to worry about that delay fade and I can just take care of these crossers. Now, I don't remember what this play was, but I was just expecting PA boot over. So I get the blitz ready. I'm like, okay, maybe we ought to set contains because this blitz still works even if you have contains. The guy on the edge still comes through, and then it just makes their life more difficult to roll out. Here's Fields. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. All right, I'll admit it. We're still figuring out the run defense. And you guys see Derrick Henry is one of his X factors, okay? So you got you know, you know this guy's going to run the ball. Anyways, gun tray wide flex. Again, I'm not using any zone drops. We're sending the blitz. Remember, the defensive end, that's the guy coming in on the blitz, is very slow. But he comes in every single time. And it forces them to roll out. Now, when you start sending the slot corner off the edge... What are they going to do? They're going to stand in the pocket. They're going to take a sack. I use her to the flats because I'm assuming there's a tail route. And then I work my way back to the crosser. And then things kind of start breaking down because he has to roll out. And, well, sometimes pressure bursts pipes. It's drive. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get enough. He rifles one. It's intercepted. Picked up by Darnell Savage. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. Second inter... So this has been another episode of Labbing with T. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure you hit that sub button. Everything I'm learning about 335 Odd 
I'm sharing. There's not a single piece of information that I'm holding back for my own personal scheme. No, everything I'm going to learn about it, you guys will learn about as well. And I will teach you everything you need to know in order to run 335 odd effectively. My goal this year is to get top 100 multiple times. That is my goal for you guys as viewers as well. It's going to be sweaty, all right? We're going to be sweating everything off. But I promise you, if you stay tuned to this channel, you hit that sub button, you will get top 100 in week and league if you follow through 3-5 odds step by step as we learn this defense. So be sure you drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. This has been Labbing with T Meister, aka or T, Labbing with T, aka T Meister. We'll catch you guys in the next one. For now, get in the live yourselves. Learn a bit more about this 335 odd. We'll see you guys in the next one.